Hey everybody and welcome to another video here on Level 10 Gamers. Uh, this is a bit of a weird intro, I know. Um, basically I shot this before and uh, somehow the footage of it got lost and uh, yeah, here we are. Doing it in retrospect, so uh, that's new. As you probably saw in our Black Friday haul video, I purchased a new graphics card for my PC. Uh, it was time for a uh, Bit of a generation change, I guess. Um, I bought the RTX 2070 Super from ASUS, paired with an EK water block. So we're going to start by installing the water block on the graphics card, and then we're going to swap the graphics card in the PC. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, have a little chat afterwards about the results. All right, let's uh, start by taking the card out, shall we? I do believe we'll need this. I, uh, I like to open my boxes carefully um, because, uh, and, and, well, not too much resale value, just for keeping. You know, I, I don't like to break the boxes. Let's see if we can. Oh, there you go. First thing I do is break the box. Well, I guess it was inevitable. I hate these little flips. You're never good. So you always end up with this crap. But it's uh, battle scars, I guess. Well, I just have to live with it. Oh, come on. In search of incredible. Okay. Well, at first glance, it doesn't look like much, does it? Looks very, very bone stock. Has nothing of the saz or the flair that you would uh, accept. Packing steps. Unpacking steps. Okay. All right, so it's... Uh... Oh yeah, it's this type of uh, deal. Felix, no, no, no. My food, not yours. Right, speed setup. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. Right, since I am not keeping the uh, cooler on, I'm actually going to leave the uh, plastic on. I'm not going to do the peel, huh? What a rip off. But we can do the back. Uh, just to uh, have a little look, shall we? Okay, there's a uh, bad peeling experience already. There is no tab. There we go. Come on. All right. Doesn't sound plastic. I don't think it's plastic actually. Not that the back plate matters to me. I don't see the back plate, so I don't really care. Um, as far as I can remember, to disassemble this card should be fairly easy actually. I think. I think we're only talking about these. More screws or something to get the cooler off. Now we're gonna have to go that one and that one, that one, that one, that one. Probably these as well. Yep, by the looks of it, those are also attached. And yeah, it looks like actually all of them are coming out. But um, yeah, let's get um, let's get cracking, shall we? The 
cover seems to be loose. Okay, there we are. Theoretically, the um, there's RGB on this. Can't be. Oh, by the looks of it, there's. Oh yeah, of course, inside the the little strip. That's true. The little strip. As you see, me and Felix had a little play earlier today, and um, yeah, he won. You win this round, Felix, you win this round. Okay, let's put that aside. Keep, protect my uh, screws there. All right, let's have a look. So these are out, and these are out. So the core, the cooler. Or the PCB and the cooler should be separatable. Yep, there we go. There we go. All right. Should have done the. Um, should have done the um, connectors first. There we are, and there we are. Okay. Thermal pad or thermal uh, paste. Thermal paste looks great currently. Um, this up here. Just nope, that's not where it goes, is it? Yes, it is, because these are direct. Right. I'm going to put this aside. All in all, the thermal pads and the thermal goop looks very nice. Um, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. There's no dangerously un unprotected anythings. Um, I'm a bit worried about these. That shouldn't be too much of a problem, to be honest. Um, these are in direct contact, I think, with the back plate. And the back plate is, uh, I think it's aluminum, actually, to be honest. All right, let's not lose that screw. There you go, go back in. Felix hasn't stolen it. There's not a protective backside there, but okay. Uh, should be good. Uh, might not even uh, work its way back onto the card as there are currently no holes for it. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna clean off the scoop and I'm gonna put it aside and uh, we're gonna get started with this and uh, we'll put this on here afterwards. Right. right, let's open this um, water block that the customs scratched the box for me. Thank you very much. Don't think they've been inside it. Probably just check that. The box contained what it said it was. And also, oh, almost dropped it there. And also that they had no idea what the hell this was. Which is most likely how that conversation has gone. All right, nice EK logo. There. Okay, so we've got some new um, strips. These will come in handy, and we'll replace the ones that came with the card with that. Got some EK Tim, is that what it's called? Ecotherm. There it is. Um, probably won't use that. I've got the uh, uh, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which is, uh, well, I think it's better. Felix doesn't. Felix, ugh. Felix doesn't look like he prefers this over that, but then again, this has a crinkly bag, which usually contains snacks for you, doesn't it? Hmm? You want a snack? Right, let me get you a snack. Here's your snack. There you go. Here. All right. There you go. You can have your snack over here. There we go. All right. Let's put that aside. 
do not forget forget other EK products for your liquid cooling systems. Yes. Okay, Helix seems very interested. I don't know if he sees more than you guys do. What? I don't have more. Well, I do, but you're not getting more because then you just get fat. All right, let's put that aside. All right, here it is. Still has. Uh, damn it. I don't like this part of it. They're blocks. Like, if we could get that in black, that would be nice. Of course, I could remove it and paint it black. But I'd rather not, to be honest. But okay, maybe it's like their uh, signature thing that they do. Block in itself looks very, very nice. I do like the new terminals. Those are good. And also it has RGB, which is very nice. My current one doesn't have RGB. I've modded in. I think it's um, BG yellow or something. It didn't have red. It was a multi-color, not RGB. Okay, let's get that over there so we can get the box out of the way. Sorry, this is important. No, this is not a snack, Felix. This is a graphics card. You want to go lay down? Good boy. All right. Let's see if I'm replacing these ones, shall we? Right, let's get some thermal grizzly on here. You okay there, bud? No, not a snack. Three, two, one. in the snack bag. You can relax. You're not missing out on the snack. Right, let's put this between our fingers. This goes over here. Ow. Oi. No messing with the hardware. You know this. Right now, a little trick that Jay has taught me. I could use the EK box as well. It is technically, well, more suited, so I'm gonna do that. E EK box on top, flip it. There we are. All right, now let's see about centering this. Looks about right, doesn't it? guys one water block installed on the 2070 super next up is getting the old 1070 out of the machine and putting this baby back in or in even at all oh no blue thingy on here to leave on for three years before realizing it's there <clears throat> but anyways um let's install it 